Okay, now we're going to factor quadratic trinomials that have the number 1 as the coefficient of x squared. These are much easier, mainly because when we say uh, in the calculator, when we put a times c over x, our a is 1. So really, all we have to do is say c over x. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to say 20 divided by x and then x plus 20 divided by x. And yes, and I'll say second graph. And now I want to find the number 9 in the y2 column. Well, goodness, here we have a 9 twice. Let's try 4 and 5. Okay. Now this is what you get to do when the number in front of x squared is 1 and when you only have one letter as the variable. Split this x squared into an x and an x and then look here at the numbers besides 9, beside 9, and say plus 4 plus 5 and then foil it again to make sure you're right. This will be x squared plus 5x plus 4x plus 20. This is 9x. So I'll have x squared plus 9x plus 20, which is what I started with. You see how fast that is. Let's do it again. Let's, let's do it with this one. I'm going to go to y equals and clear and clear and say, all right, now my, my c number is 24, so I'll say 24 divided by x and x plus 24 divided by x second graph. And I'll look for my B number 10 in Y2. And there it is, accompanied by the numbers 4 and 6. Because 4 times 6 equal the C number 24, but they add up to the B number 10. So since the number in front of X squared is 1, this is the quick way I get to do this problem. Parentheses, parentheses, x, x, and then the numbers beside 10, 4 and 6. That's positive 4 and positive 6. So I'll say plus 4 plus 6. And I'm done, if I'm right. Let's make sure x squared plus 6x plus 4x plus 24 and 6x plus 4x is 10x. Yes, this is the correct factorization, just like this was the correct factorization of the previous problem. Okay, one more. Let's do this problem. All right, I'm going to go to y equals and clear and clear. And I'm going to say 54 divided by x, come down to y2, x plus 54 divided by x, second graph. I'm looking for the B number, which is negative 15. Here's positive 15, but I need negative 15. So I am going to scroll up to where the negative numbers are, and here's negative 15. 
accompanied by negative 6 and negative 9. Here's what I do with that. And again, the only reason is because 1 is in front of the x squared. I write parentheses, parentheses, I split my x squared apart, x and x, and then I write down the numbers accompanying negative 15, which are negative 6 and negative 9. So minus 6 minus 9. Now I double check myself, x squared minus 9x minus 6x plus 54 and minus 9x minus 6x is minus 15x. So I'm right. This is the correct factorization of x squared minus 15x plus 54.